Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, further into the laws of exponents and now look at the proof for this law, which is a to the power of x in brackets, uh, power of y equals to a to the power of x and y without the bracket. Basically, this is the third law in my video series on general laws of exponents. I'll prove this one in my earlier videos. I'll prove these two, and in a later video, I'll prove this one. So stay tuned for that. So basically, to recap, General laws of exponents, if x and y are real numbers and a is greater than zero, then we have the first law, a to the power of x plus y equals ax times a y. If it's a minus, we divide it out. And if you have a bracket like this, a to the power of x power of y, that just equals to axy. And the last one, a b to the power of x, that's the same thing as writing a to the power of x times b to the power of x. So um, basically, before I prove this one, I uh, quickly want to note that uh, recall the earlier definition of one which I went over in my general exponential functions uh, video a to the power of x equals e to the power of x times ln a and also want to recall from the same video I derived this law ln a to the power of x equals to x ln a yeah now basically to prove that uh, the third law a to the power of x in brackets y equals 2 a to the power of x y I'll first use the definition here and then I'll go over and then I'll use this one right after and to do that we could write this as that by writing a to the power of x power of y yeah and then now this equals to basically look at this one and replace the x with y and the a with a to the power of x just to make it look exact same so this will be now uh, e to the power of y and now this is going to be times ln a x right here using this definition. We just replace a with a x and x with y right here. So it's the exact same thing. So now when we have this part, now we could use this law right here. So we go ln a x equals to x ln a. So this equals 2 e to the y x ln a right here. And now this is just a y, minus, y times x and it doesn't matter which side you put it. So we'll just rearrange it to make it like this, e to the power of x, y, uh, yeah, x times y, y times x, same thing, and then ln a right here. So now we have this part right here. Now, as you can see, this going back to the definition, this is the exact same thing uh, as this definition, except this x is an x, y. So we could replace x with x, y, and this will be a to the power of x, y right here, so using this definition. So there you go, we've just proved it. I'll just drag this down here. Ax power of y equals to a to the power of x and y, yeah, x times y. Anyways, that is all for today. If you learned from this quick proof and stay tuned for my later video to which I'll derive this one and also watch my earlier ones on these two laws right here. Anyways, thanks for watching. You can, uh, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the links below, which are these ones right here. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.